Okay, I'm stabilizing this. <laughs> My selfie stick broke. So everything's gonna look a little tilted, but uh, there's power, 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 cleansing power in the blood of the Lamb. Uh, so that's my opening song. It, there's cleansing power in the blood of the Lamb. Uh, I know this is small setback. It just shows that I cannot depend on technology. This thing, I hate to throw it away. My selfie stick broke, so uh, I'm just kind of setting this thing down. Shall I I know, I know. It's a uh, a little bit of a, a heartache because I have nobody to hold the camera for me and everybody that I ask on the street to hold it for me they quit after the very first time no it's it just uh, um, I've been asking people to hold the camera for me they go like uh, do you take your whole life like how about when you're in the shower do you take yourself <laughs> uh, no I actually go to the ocean and have a big bath I find that to be exhilarating so uh, I've been going back to the beach. I, I know I'm not supposed to. I hope Dr. Centeno uh, don't see this. Uh, I'm going back to Colorado to Regenics and to have a platelet, my blood drawn, um, and uh, to obtain so-called the centrifuge of the platelets. Uh, if you don't know anything about it, go to Regenex with double X, R-E-G-E-N-E-X-X. -E -E -X -X. It's just the opposite of what the pharmaceutical company cause you to believe and my little inside today I know this is my habit I got it like turtle fluffy uh, I think the ocean salt water helps I'm just trying to rejuvenate with this cryotherapy aha uh -huh. because why they were paying people charging me $50 to get this so-called cryotherapy uh, which they put you in the little uh, locker box seriously it's three minutes the first time they gave me uh, two minutes and 45 seconds, it's like a big freaking deal. Uh, so the theory is by freezing your butt off, literally, literally, I hate to use that word liberally. I just uh, met a British uh, person. So uh, don't mind that. Please, please, please. Drive me crazy because I'm uh, trying to live without a selfie stick. It shows you that God is great, wonderful, and mighty. We don't need a selfie stick, even though... Uh, this came a long ways from Colorado. They were uh, too dispersed, the folks from Canada. I think I'm going to unplug this thing because it's irritating. I'm going to unplug it. <laughs> um, and they were in Dunkin' Donuts, Lake Sloan. Uh, I have a whole video about that because they just approached me. This was when I was in Colorado last time. I was back in April. Uh, so they they want to sell me the selfie stick with a Bluetooth. I suppose I never use it because you know why why bother to use the Bluetooth? Uh, you can't reach it. You can't just reach it, Johan. That's why you have arm. It's called arm's length. It's about this much. You can't reach it. Then you know <laughs> that's too bad. You deserve to be in the uh, home or hospital retirement place or. Anyways came to the big understanding before I get into all that about healing and all that I know then I could like go on and on and on and we don't want to do that football season is starting so everybody shut up <laughs> uh, you know I don't want to know anything about Julian Edelman's injury uh, of course I heard it's like this like last year I'm, I'm, I'm saying there is no way that if we do not have Tom Brady starting the four, uh, first four games because his damn Roger Goodell, um, you know, butting heads. I, I really believe Roger Goodell, uh, I use the word not loosely, bought off. He hates not just bought off, but the other owners of the NFL teams. If you, well, if you don't know that, every owner of their gazillionaires. So they have egos as, as big as the half of the universe. I mean, if they could uh, change the universe, oh my God, I'm talking about King Jong Un times like, you know, 99 times George Soros. I mean, you don't want them to become evil people. So it's good they own football teams that this is the way for them to channel their egos. But came down, cracked down, that victimized and I use the word victimized, not just I learned it politically uh, with Tom, about Tom Brady. 
uh, victimization is, uh, you know, usually not a good word because you don't want to be victimized. And and people were saying, uh, I don't know who's it. I re yeah. Uh, sorry for dis uh, you know dis uh, distracting myself. I'm literally distracting myself. Somebody just emailed me. I was running around like crazy and everything because I had to go to Chino and it was like a big fire off 210. If you didn't know, like Lutz Tunis is always on fire. Ashes, smoke. I mean, we're not talking about Texas. I, I was really freaking out. I was at the gym. It was whirlwind. It was 120 degrees here. And then whirlwind. And we got the Harvey. All of a sudden, it was like, blah. Yeah, really, blitzers. Uh, and then I was selfie taping uh, this guy. I see him all the time at the gym, but he doesn't talk to me. I don't know. But he was start yelling at me. He goes, close your rooftop. And I go, what? What do you mean? Like, I thought, zip this up. And then he said, close the rooftop in your car. Go home, shit, yeah, because I was so excited, I forgot. I said, oh, Harvey is invading. And it was like, reminding of the movie, remember the Independence Day, that uh, woman was screaming, ah, they're here, or something like that, like E.T. phone home. I was so excited and everything. Um, because somehow my spirit is sensitized with the, the what's happening in the world, in the environment, and, you know, with Antifa. And, uh, you know, I'm just not ready for football season. But this is all coming down on us. It's football season. NFL Sunday ticket. I just wrangled. Now, I got a gripe against Eric TV. So, um, anyways, if you don't think this is suitable for advertiser or whatever, the Google slash YouTube, you can go to hell. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, you know, it's probably good for Dish if I don't like the Eric TV. Uh, because they got you by the you know what. Uh, if you have nuts, they got you by the nuts. Yes. Literally, they're squeezing everybody. Um, $400. I said, I'm not going to pay $400. They just raised my rate, Direct TV, and then I had the nerve. Ramon, you had the nerve to have freaking hang up on me. I said, I want to talk to a supervisor um, because the remote wasn't working. Okay, this is my bitch. Uh, they used to be nice, and now they're like, oh, on hold. They put you on hold. Well, they said they were going to transfer you to a supervisor, and I'm holding. Um, you know, the music came on, and all of a sudden, Blee, blee, blee. Uh, if you hang up the phone because your line is cut off, something about redial, and, and I got this tone, beep, 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 beep. I go, oh shit, motherfucker hung up on me. Sorry, I mean, you know, I forgive me, Lord. But this is one thing that frustrates the heck out of me is on the phone. I don't want to go on the phone. I went on the Rick TV app and it doesn't work. So why is it that freaking NFL Sunday, and now they disperse so much, I can't even watch a freaking a preseason game of, of the Patriots because the NFL, uh, uh, they cornered the market. I mean, I don't mind you making a few dollars, but preseason on the Friday used to be Thursday night football. Now Thursday night football is on every freaking day, so it should not be Thursday night football anymore. But then if you're not in the market, sorry, it was Thursday night football on Friday and NFL Network blacked out my game. Don't you think I'm upset? So the trickery is now if you want to watch the game, you have to get this thing called not NFL Network, now, mind you, NFL Network is something that NFL made money off on besides gazillions of dollars they collect the franchise fee to, um, you know, broadcast the game from ABC. I, I don't know ABC. You know who I'm talking about, right? NBC, uh, ESPN has the Monday night game, uh, CBS. Now, all this NFL monopoly, nobody's talking about it. Uh, and now they, they're trying to uh, come up with this so-called... NFL Game Pass. No, 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 wait a minute. That's a different deal, they told me, than your NFL Network. So I'm freaking confused. What it is, is they try to confuse you by saying that that's why you're not getting the game because you're not getting the Game Pass, which is another 99.99 was about 100 bucks. On top of the $400 to the NFL Sunday package. I go, what is bullshit? Uh, you know, I, I'm just saying. So, any one of, the, of these whining players, I'm sick and tired of it. Uh, you know, I mean, then if I'm paying that kind of money, I have a say. I say, nobody. If Spike Lee can say, oh, 
We're political. We're going to straighten everybody or sue them or uh, try to get Kaepernick back. Do not hire Kaepernick. I don't want to see Kaepernick on my TV. On any game. No game. That's it. <laughs> I'm just tired of it. Anyway, so, so far, at least it's negotiable because we don't have Kaepernick. All right. I know certain players that takes you off or whatever. I mean, I don't make this easy kill Elliot or I don't know what the charges are. That's a different deal. At least he's not disrespecting the country, the flag. Now, if you go play somewhere in Australia, then I don't give a rat's ass that you salute or don't salute to the kangaroo flag. But if you want to play it in the United States of America, you better pay some uh, respect to our flag. So that's a very basic. Because otherwise it's an insult. For me to even thinking spending $99 for freaking Game Pass and another uh, $400 uh, for the NFL Sunday ticket and besides I go to the, if I go patronize the sports bars because I know uh, somebody's going to go there and get drunk and pick a fight and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so this Thursday opening game, the Patriots playing the, uh, 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 I think it's the Chiefs, I was, I, I was talking to, to uh, my friend. I don't know why I do this. It's like, ah, oh, because I got brain dead. Because too much pharmaceuticals, damn you. <laughs> OPS. OPOS is not just a crisis. It's a money scheme. Uh, as I talked to Shireen today, that she said, yeah, why do you think there's such a crisis? I mean, yeah, it never dawned on me because I'm so focused now on being healed. Uh, I don't want to say naturally, but I don't have a better word for it. So being healed by God, by prayer, by faith, by believing, and also use your bodies the way that God's given you the cells, the healing cells, the stem cells, the platelets, and all that to uh, proliferate, to regenerate instead of cut because the world wants to cut you apart. Really, literally, the way they train uh, the medical doctors, even just like the kids, the way the education system, they educate the doctors now, it's like, okay, what's the symptom? Acne? Then give them this drug to cure the acne, but fine, I know somebody, uh, acne got cured, but got freaking, he's, he's a freaking now Crohn's disease, his whole stomach, um, lower intestine, I hate to say that, that um, was bleeding, and uh, ulceritis, is that the name of it? Uh, emergency surgery. So, uh, poor father, I feel so sorry for Jonathan. Um, uh, I did pray for his uh, speedy recovery, but to remove the whole colon, entire colon, uh, because the kid just started taking some, um, uh, I don't even know the drugs, the anti agony drugs. It's all about money, and uh, the drug company wants to kill us slowly. Seriously, that's how they train these doctors now. Whatever the symptom is, and it's surgery, or it's cut, cut away. Um, that's why when I first heard what Dr. Centino said, I mean, I'm not glorifying a man, but it just, it's going against the grain. He's, he's the person now who's going against the grain. Like, you know, if you have a chip in your window, uh, you're not gonna say, oh, let's tear, tear out the whole frame. So why would you do that with meniscus, with disc, and you know, when they say, oh, we're gonna go and clean it up because there was a little dangling or whatever was torn. You have to know that those parts, once they say clean out, they mean cut. Anything cut is not gonna grow back. Uh, unless, I guess, certain things that grow back, but not cartilage, as you know. I mean, that's undisputable except that um, when we go to the so-called uh, regenics, when I say we, I mean I. <laughs> when I go to the regenics, I, I don't know anybody else who's going. I mean, you know, it's not that um, I keep contact with everybody, but I know some folks and uh, whatever. But uh, what I'm saying is uh, the platelet, the stem cell, uh, that takes you to participate and to say, well, instead of like popping pills, but to say to yourself, am I willing to make that lifestyle change? It means that you have to reprogram, which is not easy because we are programmed. And now, I mean, even I was programmed to born to rely on the government. Like, you're, you know, government is God. Government is not God. Uh, so to deviate from the topic, some idiot, I don't know, am something that just wrote me. I was so busy. I didn't, I didn't. 
I don't keep up with everything what Ted Cruz says. And he kept like hounding me like, oh, what do, don't you think Ted Cruz is a phony when he spoke up against, uh, I think it was $8 billion or, or aid. I have no idea what Ted Cruz said. But I know Ted Cruz. I know that he is not a hypocrite like your Nancy Pelosi. He is there for us, for us. He's one of us, so shut up and don't talk bad about Ted Cruz. Um, if you know what Ted Cruz says, tell me what he says. But if, if, if he says a pork barrel, then it is pork barrel. Oh yeah, I'm not blinded. What I'm saying is, isn't there anything not pork barrel because from the government, because they, they take it from everybody else. I'm just saying, you know, how many little kids that climb on you and say, buy my chiclet, buy my chiclet, do you see what I'm saying? How many can you bear? But the thing is, then they put up all these uh, so-called idols that because they are in control. So you have to go through them. You have to beg them for the money uh, because that's, uh, you know, really uh, not the way the Lord created heaven and earth. That if we care for each other, um, I mean, I donated money to Harvey, all right, through the church. I believe in that, uh, uh, what do you call the dis that distribution with the charitable, there's so many people there, they're, they're called, uh, what do you call, Char oh yeah, charitable organizations. So this one saddled back. They, they went to Texas and they got these local churches and they, uh, you know, connected with them with this money and, uh, you know, to distribute uh, uh, food, water, or uh, whatever the shelter, they have a lot of volunteers there in Texas, locally, so with local churches. That's what the, um, Rick, I don't know if I have Rick, uh, Rick Warren. I've been going to this uh, Saddleback a little bit because it's close by, Saddleback, LA. Um, so anyways, the bottom line is, is the core belief. Now, if you say, oh, government, government is in everything, you look to the government and you forget about the Lord, about his people, about the church. So when I say church, I don't mean necessarily have to be an organization, uh, but it should be private. Uh, even in a biblical age, I believe that at that time Paul says that if those are idol, idol like they say they're, they're widows, they're, they're taking the uh, um, supplements, I guess the, the church was giving, giving them supplements or something or, you know, income. Uh, but they were like idols, chatter bodies, and you know, just uh, uh, not doing anything but uh, rumor, having old rumor running around every day. Then the church ought to be aware of that, and so that correction needs to be brought because then they're not really eligible, uh, you know, to be chatter idols. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you know, the word. So I don't have every word perfect, all right, but you got the, you got the meaning, you got the gist of it. The gist of it is that. Uh, government cannot be your God and nor is uh, the uh, so-called drugs pharmaceutical companies and uh, today Shireen told me she said, she said look up the root word for drugs for pharm pharmacy it's the root word Latin is uh, pharmakia it's a spirit it's a very very big uh, I would say I, I don't you know I don't want to scare you but it's not from the Lord if it's not from the Lord it's a spirit of the enemy. So pharmacy, pharmaceutical, well, that, I go, well, that's why people are hooked on drugs and they die. The so-called the opioids or something, they get you or they're addicted uh, because you have like everything, you know, anti-inflammatory. I mean, before I knew it, I go, yeah, I'm hooked on drugs. Even as clean as I thought. No, seriously. Um, because when I first started to go to Regenix, this is to treat my uh, hip injury, so I was determined even against, uh, I think Robert Clapper is supposed to be big shot surgeons in Beverly Hills, and uh, he was coming after me, literally. Uh, this was seven years ago, uh, with the implant. With the, he invented a hip implant, I think it was $5,000 of titanium, and he said it was more uh, palatable because it's it's more compact or whatever uh, it's still a metal gadget so I reject the notion of uh, you know and call me scared or whatever of amputation what literally a so-called implant it's not making you bionic people say oh you're not ready to be bionic that sounds all good and everything uh, but you have to know that once that 
your bone is cut. They saw it with a saw. You're literally, you are amputated because that bone is thrown away. All right. I'm just saying they don't even put it into a dog food plant. It's, you know, they throw them away. Uh, no, I don't mean to insult you or anything, but I'm just saying it's not like, you know, you're giving it for some, oh, good cause, deceiving your mind, good cause, and cut that off. Um, and then they put the rod. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, not that everybody's qualified to be regenerated. Maybe some people they still need the implant um, if they have necrosis, meaning the blood supply doesn't go there, your bone died or whatever. There are people that got necrosis from drinking too much alcohol. Yes, it literally kills your uh, blood supply. Huh. I met someone like that. I didn't know both hip replacements because she had uh, uh, alcoholism problem and somehow alcohol killed her, her hips, the, no more blood. I don't get it. But miraculously, um, because my pelvis was twisted from the injury and uh, that caused the, this hip, the left hip to wear out so quickly, but it was seven years ago. Um, so I'm a living miracle. I mean, even Dr. Centino from um, Regenix, uh, you know, he had an honest, he, he has to protect himself, I understand that. He, said, he he wrote down on the report, down the follow-up that, you know, this patient is really so-called the end stage and, you know, she should be getting the implant. So, so this way that I don't sue him, I suppose. I'm voluntarily getting the platelets or SCP when he, he's like going, okay, well, you say you feel better. I do. <laughs> uh, and it's a miracle. I'm walking. I mean, people, if I don't tell them, they think that, I, that I'm good. They try to tackle me and all that shit. I go, oh, oh don't do that. You don't tackle me because, uh, uh, you know, this, like the ball was flat on, on this side. But this is why we believe that I believe the supernatural will come in. I mean, whether you believe it or not. Um, because I have to encourage myself. Now, this is why I defer uh, with a friend of mine. Uh, who went through, I don't blame them, through the medical training, they believe there's a drug or surgery for every condition. Uh, but I, I come to think the opposite, the supernatural and also the natural. So uh, this is why I'm diligent. I have to focus on uh, going back to Regenix. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to end this. I cut it short. Okay, so I don't know why I got on this topic. I was mad at DirecTV. Uh, Oh yeah, about football and, and everything, and uh, I, I want to be healed. Uh, so the reason why I brought that up because I had to uh, go out <laughs> and prove myself. Uh, I hate to say that after this friend I just met, um, I said, well, okay, let's go out surfing. Except for I know the board, it kind of gets real heavy and stuff. You know, I'm not being lazy. I said, just carry it down to the beach where I can launch off and I start paddling because the waves are coming on, whatever. And when I come in, give me a hand. And I thought that's a good device, but God proved that I was wrong because, you know, well, when the wave pushes you in there and the guy stand there with the surfboard, he almost like dropped the board. I just, I looked up, there was this board and there was a big wave like crushing on his feet and board, with the not just the board. Remind you, there are three skags. When I say skags, there are like fins upside down fins and they're sharp, okay? Because they're there to cut through the water. That almost came down on me. I was like, Lord, uh, this is not acceptable. Um, but I proved myself because when someone tried to convince me that I have to go get surgery on the way to the surf, to the beach, I go, this is such a turn off. I said it to myself, if you're trying to encourage me, <laughs> it's not working, okay? It's not encourage me on the way to the surf. You want to talk about it after or, you know, a dinner or whatever. It's a different deal. I know their intentions aren't bad. So I have to reject that. And I do not reject the person, but I reject their ideology. And I also know, uh, just like people wrote me from uh, YouTube, they're, you know, they're so left. They're so tilting on the government, take care of them, the Democrats. I mean, dem demo is demon, rats. Just think about this. They still have words have meanings. And Google is the same thing. They demonetize. is demonize. So this is like 
uh, people are going, oh, why Google or YouTube demonetize me? Well, because they got the money. They don't want you to have it. They're that greedy. Yes, you go, oh, even though it's a 60-40 split, so supposedly. But that's why how Rico, how these mobs, how do you think these godfathers, how do you think the Al Capones, it's greed. 60-40 is not good enough for them. If they get 40, they want more. So what if they can confiscate it? That's why the word demonetize. They all of a sudden demonetize your video, YouTube, Google. I know I'm going around in different directions, but you know, each to its own. Uh, they all make sense. So, you know, uh, I'm not running a freaking ABC Tonight show, so sue me, right? I talk whatever I want to. I'm not happy about the uh, football, NFL, DirecTV situation, and the NFL playing in the politics, into that politics, and they should just set up a rule. If you want to play in the NFL, you're getting so much money, $12 million. They're fleecing us. I mean, I was saying fleecing us, you know, uh, it's not as bad as government because people still have to pay. If they want to watch a football game, it's different, it's voluntary. It's not like we're going to put you in jail like the government does. Um, so I have to pay another hundred dollars or whatever that I am reluctant to pay that kind of money. Not because they're paying 12 million to, you know, some idiots or, or what's his name? Kaepernick turned down a 20 million dollar job to pay because he doesn't want to be a backup or whatever. Uh, you know, I think the business, NFL is a business, should just say, fuck off, fuck off, you know. Don't take our money, don't play in our league, go play in, with the kangaroos or somewhere else. Seriously, um, they should just say, if you do not respect the flag, the players do not have the right when they're on the stadium. You understand what I'm saying? It's like on the job, they're on the job. They do not have the right to say, oh, I spit on your flag, I, I burn your flag, I despise you because America is are, are evil. What the hell you play for America? Uh, do you know the Dallas Cowboys is American team? Hi! Even the ones that you don't like, the Cleveland Browns, those people that will not uh, pay respect, salute the flag, that's American team. You don't like it? Again, go anywhere else. Go to play for Saudi Arabia. Don't kick your head around like a fucking football. <laughs> I should end on that note. Okay, that's good enough. I will end on that note, in fact. Uh, because I, I don't know. I mean, what else? So it's like the list. I went to see my mom. Ending DACA. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Because uh, I don't know why he, uh, Donald Trump has to play this soft game. You know, this is a harder decision for me. No, it's not hard. It's not hard. Oh, because somebody kids. I mean, everybody got a fucking story. Remember, I told you, like, it's true. Uh, you know, this this way conjure up to make money is such a scheme. Get little kids out there. Always using kids. That's how Stalin used to do. Uh, all these Mao Zedong, all these, uh, they're the real socialists, the fascists, and Nazis. You know, Nazis are socialists. Socialists. They're not capitalists. Hello? What's wrong with you? I'm going to have to, like, whack you on the head. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Uh so to say that, no, these people, if they're here Ill illegally, I mean, he, he made it simple. He said, uh, according to Jeff Session, the attorney general says that the immigration law should be made by Congress, not, not signed by freaking Obama. He has no right to say who decides to come and eat our, our tables. And as you know, that's what they do. That's why they come here. You say, oh, they just need a job or whatever. Uh, no. No, 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 no. The answer is no. If someone wants to come to my house, oh, we're just going to get a job. And then pretty soon they'll be laying around the couch, uh, eating the food in your refrigerator, and demanding you get this uh, uh, absorbent NFL package or whatever. I mean, this is what happens. You guys don't learn, all right? Slavery has not gone away. Saudi Arabia has slavery. India has slavery. China has slavery. A lot of places that have slavery. It's just a, a grade above when you say cheap labor. You understand that, right? Because you want to pay people little money who said that's cheap labor. And you say those are because they're doing the jobs that uh, Americans wouldn't do. Hell no, they wouldn't do that because you're giving them so much fucking welfare money. Uh, so, uh, oh gosh, huh. what did I just do?
I just, uh, I kind of just did this. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do this virtually. Like, heck no. See, that doesn't do anything. Uh, they won't do the jobs, they won't plug. What I'm saying is, what did I have to do, wipe your ass? No, all they were, they were saying is, is picking strawberries. Oh, because it's so freaking hot, uh, so they have to get illegals. F fucking trust me, four or five years down the road, they will not be, they refuse to do the same thing because now they're, why, especially in California, oh yeah, they get to go get Will Figure Trick and EBT, uh, Writing Pretty, everybody knows how to do that game, or oh, yeah, I'm living on poverty, so you get yourself some uh, uh, subsidies, <laughs> poverty and subsidy. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> Yeah, 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 I know. The the lady wouldn't come and help me do anything now because uh, she's got money to do surgery on her eyes, cosmetic surgeries, right? Because, the, uh, I guess, California pay for her Medicare. I mean, I'm resentful. Uh, Medi-Cal sees doctors like eight times a week. Thank God I don't need to see doctors eight times a week. But when I go see my doctors in Tino, I pay cash. Why? This is the, uh, again... The machinery, the so-called, the yes, it's set in motion. It is said to kill you. They train to kill you. Slowly, not suddenly, slowly. A little, little drug here, a little drug that. That's why the real healing, like uh, regenics, like using your own stem cell, how do you uh, harvest the best cells and all that kind of stuff. Those are the things that that we should be focusing on, but instead, like Peyton Manning has to go to Germany to get his uh, stem cell thing. I mean, I don't know how much money he spent, but all all the things that are really uh, there to accelerate help your healing. I mean, of course, all healing comes from God. Uh, I get the picture, um, but all these things like prolotherapy to proliferate instead of cut like cutting all your tendons and all that kind of stuff. You have carpal tunnel. Uh, in fact, it worked. Uh, I just went once. So all they did is inject ligaments with uh, the so-called dexterous water. So prolotherapy, it's not covered by insurance. I paid cash for it. Uh, thank God this wasn't too expensive. It was like 150 bucks. But the Regenix is like, you know, it's going to cost me thousands of dollars. But what I'm saying is I... Ironically, you say, well, insurance don't cover that. That's why I don't need insurance and I don't need to be penalized for wanting to take care of myself and try to be healthy. You have to, you know, uh, this is what I say to my friend, can't be popping pills. Because you know those things, it's, yeah, it's take away this symptom, but look at the complication. Oh, that's just a pamphlet, you're just saying that. Yes, it is damaging to your gallbladders, all right? They said it, but they said it so fast, they'll make it think, oh, it's funny. Oh, yeah, if you take it, blah, 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 you know, everything's gone. Like your liver, your brain, teacher, your eye, you've been going blind. And if you have blood in your stool, then call right away. And then you go, ha, ha, very funny. Uh, pop, keep popping those pills. So keep popping those pills. All I'm saying is I, uh, I really firmly believe I'm going to reject those things. I mean, not that I'm totally perfect because the thyroid swimming in the pool. So now I have to get armor. Uh, but I still believe in the sun. Sun can heal. Uh, truthfully, if you want to pay big money for this so-called phototherapy, yes, they have infrared, far infrared, near infrared, both are beneficiary. They're contained in the sun. Just go in the sun. The sun has been mis uh, so-called um, maligned. People talk bad, and uh, so-called scientists, everybody talk bad about this, so sun damaging. Yes, it's, it's damaging to your skin. Don't get me wrong. Uh, that's why you have to go get facials and stuff like that. Uh, so you try to take care of it. Like I use the, uh, I'm gonna like you start more lemon. I don't have a tree yet. Lemon, uh, natural vitamin C to take away the dark spots. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but you know, the, the, these are the things that we have knowledge. We have to have the knowledge and discernment. Uh, why would you want to cut everything? So. Uh, I've seen example after examples after they cut surgery or whatever, people taking drugs, they start to hallucinate. I mean, you know, at the youthful age, you have so many drugs interactions and, um, you know, damaging to your liver, to your pancreas and uh, destroy the, 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 really, seriously, even the, the micro, your gut bacteria, the good floras are destroyed. And uh, uh, if you read what Dr. Sinino says, that plays a big role in your body. 
not just your mood. Yes, you could be crappy. And it's not just PMS. A lot of times it's a microbe, your gut bacteria. If you have chlorine, too much chlorine in the tap water, like me going to the pool, oh, I, I, I really do. I swear to God, I feel so much better once I go to the ocean. So that's why I was saying cryotherapy versus the ocean because we still have glacier water. The water is cold. Uh, even in summertime, it's still what? I don't know, 68 degrees, and you're lucky if you're 68. I think it goes down to 55. But zap! When you dip yourself in it, 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 it uh, stimulates an endorphin and uh, uh, what do you call that thing? The uh, endorphin and what is this? Serotonin! <laughs> uh, production of uh, serotonin and dopamine. And so it actually energizes your core, the core of your being. And I'm not preaching, uh, so there's a variety of stuff. I'll talk to you later. Oh, okay, the bottom line is uh, uh, Thursday night football. Uh, don't let me down. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say all the uh, so-called uh, responsibility fall on uh, Tom Brady's shoulder because of uh, Edelman's injury. Uh, I know it was devastating. <laughs> I cried. I shed my tears, and I was I was shocked. My jaw dropped because if you knew how much Edelman, um, how much this person, this this player has so much heart, contributed. Uh, I'm sure everybody saw the the Super Bowl uh, 45 where uh, he had that impossible catch or whatever. So we just have to depend on God that, um, you know, God will raise up another receiver. I mean, even though it's a big handicap to us because uh, I don't know if you know this, that Tom Brady take his players or his uh, so-called core receivers because they have to practice in every situation, every circumstance, every fake signals and uh, you know that you practice with your receiver. That's that's your uh, core. So he take them to the Rocky Mountains. Yes. He actually uh, off season. I know Tom Brady that does that with Edelman. I don't know who was the other player before. I think maybe Wes Walker, but that was a while ago because, you know, we lost Wes Walker and look at what happened to him. I don't want to say selling shoes, but I'm just saying. Um, no, I mean, seriously, I understand it's about money. I mean, uh, the football business is about money. Uh, that's why my ex-husband even told me uh, very sternly. Uh, don't lament because we lost a player like you know uh, when we lost Asante Samuel I go oh shit our team is gonna go down to the creek he said no just hold fast it's about the team it's not about the player because you go oh so and so so great but then you're glamorizing the whole player stuff it's about the team so I mean even though I was devastated that uh, in the preseason game this is what I hate about preseason you know, I can cry and moan all I want. I did not think Tom Brady had to like keep just maybe proving or improving himself and uh, keep throwing to Julia Edelman. We know what you can do. But every down, it was like five times in a row and boom. You know, one play toward, toward everything. Um, so I don't want to be sad. I want to see, you know, let's see what happens. Uh, I really hate to say that I needed some kind of uh, revenge. One day I was in Colorado, not one day, it was like two years ago, two seasons ago when we had an opening game in Arrowhead and Chiefs and we were so slaughtered. The Patriots were like <laughs> slaughtered like 42 to 8 or something. I don't know if you remember, but I was in Charlie Brown. This is like downtown Denver, Charlie Brown and, uh, you know, I had a date there uh, who was not really into football. Um, but he, he was like, okay, everybody's coming. The bartender was scorning me uh, to the point that uh, the day was embarrassed. I mean, I was just fighting off. Everybody's like, bug off, shut up, or whatever. We're coming back, you know. Uh, it was like Alex Smith was the uh, king of the hill, and uh, Brady was in the doghouse. And they go, they, everybody says that was the year that they said, uh, is Brady too old? Should we bench Brady? Uh... 42, there was an arrowhead. Ah, you know. I think this game is in uh, uh, the opening game. It's, it's going to be good. Chiefs, I think it's going to be at the uh, Foxborough. Uh, I don't know why I call Foxborough. I know it's Gillette. Quit changing the freaking names on me. I can't keep up with that kind of stuff. Just because you pay $1 billion. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm jealous. 
Uh, but you know, still, Foxborough is the location. Foxborough, I love that name. It's like where the fox resides, a borough for the fox. I love that. What's wrong with that? Chile is cool. I know, you know, you shave and razor and sharp and everything. I mean, it's a lot better than Quao Quang. <laughs> I hate to say that. It's like, you know, your sponsor, you go, okay, help me build a football team. It's going to cost $500 million, but we'll definitely give you your name on it. But you're just praying to God. I go, you know, don't come up with a name like, you know, uh, Rose Stuck or uh, uh, what is it? Bengay. <laughs> Bengay Stadium. Oh, my Lord. Uh, it was another one that uh, somebody said, uh, you know, like big business that have money that they want to burn and uh, they want to have their names on a football stadium, right? You know, just think about it like, uh, uh, what is it? The, um, uh, what's the bad name? Okay, write me. I forgot. What was the, the name for your, your hemorrhoids? Uh, it's called hem, hem, uh, Hemorrhoid Plus or whatever. <laughs> oh, anyways. So, yeah. Uh, all right, go Pats. Uh, let's see what the rookie can do, the receivers. I don't know. I don't think the receivers got it down yet, but, you know, they're practicing right now. But we'll see. Uh, my prediction, I would say that since the Patriot got humiliated a long time, when I was two years ago, um, I hate to say 38 to 14. Uh, that means defense, you have to do a better job. Okay, 38 Pats, 14 the Chiefs. Uh, don't. Hold me to it. <laughs>